is Nawaz Modi Singhania of the Badia Fitness Centers. So, as lockdown slowly opens up in various states and our fitness centers, our gymnasiums, etc., are given permission to very carefully uh, open up with very strict safety protocol and um, management in order. I still want to talk to some of us who may not find a fitness center very conducive. Perhaps you're a senior citizen, perhaps you're pregnant, perhaps you have comorbidities and you realize that it's safer to just be indoors and work out at home. So if you're running out of options, I have tons, in fact, more than a fitness center does for you right here at home. And I want to go through some of those with you using just household items, things you will find in your closet, things you will find in your home or in your kitchen. So let's get going. Begin by doing two sets of each exercise of maybe about eight to 12 counts per set, depending on how you're feeling. Beginner eight, intermediate 10, and then you can progress as you feel you've adapted. And you always exhale on the effort. Remember that, exhale on the most difficult part of the exercise, inhale on the easier part. Some exercises don't have a more or less difficult part. It's all like kind of even, which is when it's important to make sure that you continue breathing normally and you do not hold your breath at any point in time. The muscles, the lungs, etc. need that oxygen supply to be able to work well, work continuously. First is the kettlebell workout. But of course we don't have a kettlebell at home, so what are we going to do? We're going to use bottles of water. A uh, small, medium, large, depending on which one you'd like to take on weight wise. And if it's sealed, all the better for you, so you don't end up taking a shower somewhere in between. Okay, full body exercises. The two arm swing. Starting with your legs apart, knees bent out here. Hold your imaginary kettlebell in front of you and Breathe out as you lift up, about eye level or higher. Breathe in and lower. The second exercise is the uh, is around the world and also around the legs. So, as the exercise suggests, legs are bent out here. You just swing the bottle around you. Keep the arms a little bit away from the body. And you can go the other way as well. Around the legs is the same thing, just down lower. Bent out here and around your legs, so no surprise. The figure eight, while we're down here, is as if you're drawing the number eight between your legs. And you're going both ways. So let's see how that works. or extra bands in the house, resistance bands, doesn't matter. Use an old dupatta or if you don't have a female in the house, even a male shawl. Anything that you can grab and tie a knot into like this, see, as I've done. Okay, showing you a couple of exercises here. Standing straight, hands in front of your shoulder level, pulls apart, working the upper body out here. And then, Pulls upward, overhead, even backward here, bent arm, targeting different parts of the upper body. Use the band for abdominal and lower body too. In fact, great combination work. Let's see how we can do this. So, seated with your band, or you could put should I say, on your ankles this way, legs up, back rounded, core tight. Allow the back to sink a little bit, lower, recline, pull the legs wide apart while the arms are extended here. Even this frozen position does a lot for all ab muscles and the full lower body, especially the abductors, the amplifiers, the gluteals, the parts, the quads, the hamstrings. That's isometric. If you want to make it isotonic, crunch, release. But keep pulling the legs apart all the while. Exhale up, 
in here that isometrics is great for those who don't have a high BP, CBD issue, but if you do, then you want to get to the isotonics in instead. Let's see what other very valuable pieces of equipment you have in the house. Hey, how about a wall? Do you have a wall? Of course we do. So, um, let's just use a wall. It is fantastic. It works the full body and in this single exercise, I'm going to show you how you can work the whole body very comprehensively. So, stand against a wall, legs are apart, even wider, and far away from the wall. So, step further away, but keep your back fully plastered against the wall out here. Now, as you sit down into a squat position, watch that your knees are properly aligned with your toes. If you have any problem, you'll stay a little higher, but if you don't, you'll squat all the way down so that your thighs are parallel to the floor out here. Hands are up in position out here to start pushing inward. Back rounds over so that the middle back pushes against this wall. There's no gap between your middle back and the wall, therefore. And in this position, as you push with the hands involving the upper body, the abs are anyway contracted and so are the legs because of the position that you're holding to increase the intensity of work. One heel at a time off the floor. Lift, change, keep going. Alternate the heels, try to keep the hips more or less in place. Keep breathing normally throughout the exercise. Careful not to hold your breath. Super. So, do you have a towel at home? Of course you do. Okay, so get a towel in order. Make it into a comprehensive size which is comfortable for you to hold on if you want to fold it up, etc. Working the abdominals to begin with. Sit down, legs wide apart, knees bent at 90 degrees. Back rounded, recline yourself a bit out here, core tight, and we're getting into the rainbow. Holding the towel out here, rainbow it, back, and forth. This gets harder. Exhale here, inhale here. Fabulous. The next exercise works the lower body. Lying down, you're going to lift the hips up slightly off the floor, just a wee bit, maybe an inch or so, and then start sliding the legs straight out, keep the hips more or less in place. Exhale as you slide up, inhale. Slide back in. Fabulous, especially for the hamstrings, back to the thighs, and the glutes of the butt. Extend, bend. And the third exercise out here is done in the prone position. As in, you turn over, get into the up position of the push up, toes on your towel. Hands under your shoulders, elbows slightly soft or tight. Pike the hips up as high as you can here on your toes. And back down, push up position. Exhale, pike. Inhale, push up position. Super. So, got kids in the house? You probably do, in which case you definitely have a kid's ball at home. Fabulous piece of exercise equipment at this point in time. So let's start with hand-eye coordination and with quickening our reflexes. Just use the ball against any wall at home. Here you go. Just the center, up, down, sideways, long shot, short shot, etc. You can get a whole lot in. Got elders in the family that need help with coordination balance, all sorts of control. Hey, here's some other great exercise for them. So, you want to get the ball between your legs, seated, and just squeeze it in. Exhale as you squeeze it in. Hold it for a few moments. And it's a half release, not a full release. Works on the muscles of the lower body, particularly the ones that are important for balance and control. Every piece of furniture in your house is a fabulous piece of exercise equipment. A simple chair. Let's see what you can do with it. So, the triceps are a common problem area. 
ugly triceps are often known as by my arms and <laughs> they flap away in the wind. So you don't want that happening. And prevention is always better than cure. So watch. At the edge of your chair out here, your hands on the edge of the chair, either side of your hip. You're off the chair. Bend your 90 degrees in the elbow. Inhale as you down, exhale as you come up without locking the elbows back. Breathe in and out as you come up. So the more bent your legs are, the easier it becomes. The straighter and straighter the legs are, the harder it becomes. Next exercise is the abdominals. Sitting on the edge of the chair entirely, round over, start leaning back, but don't let the back touch the back of the chair. Keep the abs nice and tight, spine fully rounded. Get into tiny crunches here. As you involve the legs, either one at a time or then even both together, up and down, you'll find that you work the lower abdominal muscle that way. To involve the waist, twist over to one side, legs on the other side, crunch in this position. Exhale up, leg up, you up, inhale down. And then of course, to switch sides, switch legs, twisting over the other, other way as well. Moving into lower body work, you need the legs of the chair. So, sitting down on the floor against the legs of your chair out here, legs bent at about a 90 degree angle, feet straight, no rolling at the ankle. You'll start pushing outward isometrically that means it's a steady held contraction equal amount of pressure all through if you have a high knee or a cv issue however you will get into isotonics which is pulsed you don't hold it statically all the while but you push and you part release exhale as you push inhale as you part release working the whole outer thigh part hamstring quad region and then even hey wait inner thighs look at your feet they flip around now, hugging the outer legs, uh, sorry, your feet on the outer side of the chair legs. And now you start pushing inward instead of outward. Again, isometrically frozen, or then isotonically pulsed, as we spoke earlier. We're leaning back here on the floor to make sure that our back remains safe all through.